Okay, Paul Stevens, my Jeep. As you can see, I got the uh, Charger on my battery. Uh, been on there about 15, 20 minutes. And it went from 12 point, excuse me, 10.8 up to 12.8 in a short period of time. So I'm not really sure if the uh, battery is good or bad, but that seems like it came up pretty fast because it's already starting to show green on my charger. I've got to have this battery uh, tested to see if that's the problem before I buy other electronic, change out other electronic parts before I know this battery is good or bad. Out. And uh, also, this jumper wire that was on here in the fuse box under the hood here uh, when I got the Jeep. And uh, I believe they had the, uh, the AC clutch hooked into the uh, radiator fan. Uh, evidently they weren't good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of this jumper. I don't know what the, it may be causing some problems. And coming back out here to check my battery. And you see it's up to 13.6. Also put in a couple of new fuses. Uh, I didn't see anything wrong with the old ones but uh, the plastic was uh, busted on a couple of these uh, 50 amp fuses. I changed those out. So anyway, uh, the battery charger is showing, coming up in the green. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure if that's supposed to go solid on this particular uh, charger or not. I'll check that. I'm fixing to run some additional checks on the vehicle and BCM and fuses and stuff like that but I can't do much I don't think I'm gonna do much until I can replace those three fuses Come around here you see those three fuses I don't have any of those type of fuses right now and I'd like to have all fuses in place when I try to start this thing, I don't even think I can start it right now because uh, number 21 is out. I could substitute it, but I don't want to pull another fuse. Um, and it, uh, it's got it uh, listed as the ignition, let's see, ignition run start. So I'm just guessing it won't even turn over without that fuse in. But anyway, I'll update later. Started, and I went ahead and tried to start it, and to my surprise, it started up with that fuse out of it. But anyway, I don't know what's going on. It It's starting to point to the battery. It was so low that it may have been... Uh, you know, drawing on the system so much, it may have been causing some of the problems. But I still got a lot of research to do, and I'm not an electronic guy. So it'll be a step at a time. We'll see what's going on. We'll update you a little bit later. I've got to order some fuses. This is Stevens out. And coming back out here uh, to the battery charger, I'm going to pull the uh, charger off the battery. I'm showing 14 volts right now. What that's all about. I'm not doing nothing. I'm 
my life too. Sorry about that guys. Didn't realize I pulled that off. Okay. So the alternator right now has got it charging up over 14 volts. Here over 14. Anyway, uh, be out for now. I'll check you later. And this is my Jeep. Another update. This is going to be future projects. Uh, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, what I understand, has a number of ground points and two of them are in these harnesses, driver side and over there in the passenger side uh, door. And uh, what I've been uh, reading is that uh, because of these doors opening and shutting so many times over the year, those wires can get frayed in there, and especially uh, it could cause uh, some of your uh, issues uh, with components going out. And, uh, but uh, the ground wire goes out and really it breaks uh, and shorts out, can really cause a lot of fun. So I'll be checking that. Well, this thing, it's a good thing I'm retired. This thing, this old Jeep. It's not necessary. I'm just using it as a hobby right now. And boy, it's keeping me busy. My wife loves it because I'm out of the house quite a bit when it's not raining here in Florida. Anyway, I'm really enjoying this stuff and I'm learning a lot because I'm no electronics guy. Here's one thing about these modern cars. Uh, since I've grown up, uh, all the years I was in the military, you know, I didn't do any work on any vehicles. Uh, I was an uh, infantry. And, uh, and after 24 years, and then I worked in aviation for a while, uh, I had no idea until I, until I started messing around with this, how many relays, fuses, Sensors, what two computers in this thing, a BCM, a PCM, this module, that module, I have no idea. And when I was up underneath this thing, there's wiring harnesses and, uh, you know, connectors everywhere. It just, and under the hood, the same thing. Well, if we have uh, an EMT, uh, an EMP attack, whatever you call it. Uh, boy, we're in trouble. All of our vehicles are going to be sitting. Out for now. And please like, share, and subscribe. This is Paul Stevens. Here it is. Out for now. My Jeep. See you next time.